Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Eternal Evolution. Now, I think it was Alfred Us that kind of recommended this game, said it is very, very friendly, free to play. And it's funny because going through here, guys, there are an incredible amount of similarities that we see with AFK Arena. There are also a lot of similarities that I'm seeing with Infinite Magic Raid. So it is kind of a high-tech futuristic kind of game but again it has the auto battle feature you can actually see right here this is the auto battle feature where you're getting gold where you're getting um a lot of different essence and a lot of different materials out of here now it has a base and i'm kind of going to go through kind of what i've seen so far um there is a battle order now if you're familiar with infinite magic raid there is a battle order so you do have to complete certain quests within those quests you do get rewards um there is a free to play section you can see right here on the top if you want the premium card you have to buy kind of this whole entire bot bottom section but again this is straight from infinite magic raid so we've already gotten omar you can see he is almost a mechanical um crab over here so he is pretty cool looking overall there is a fast patrol which of course is our fast rewards same that we see in both games you can instantly acquire it every single day or you can spend diamonds to acquire it two more times per day now there is vip levels again just like both of the other games now looking again in, in some of the aspects so even looking at the base this is one of the very cool aspects that i like as we've continued progression guys we have actually went through here and kind of built out this base again being very futuristic there are some things that i like a lot about this and there's also some things that i don't going through the building you can see guys this is the resonating crystal so just like we see within afk arena um you have five heroes here you can put other heroes right on this side they will go to the level that the heroes are at um, based again this is inheriting levels but in afk arena it is the resonating crystal and you can look at the heroes guys the heroes on here are pretty darn cool looking i, I do like them a lot better than i liked with um dislike but overall guys that is the recruitment center you can use these cards to actually recruit heroes you can see there are different classifications there are sss heroes which are of course the super super strong heroes we have basic heroes in here we have advanced heroes and then we do have the friendship heroes which again when you look at companion points in afk arena very similar aspect to that to do summons out of here with those points now looking at the command post now this one is kind of interesting um so within battle you do get a commander so you have your regular formations you have your five-man team this kind of does remind me of the afk arena with like the pets the pet edition you can see use hero who can deal aoe damage and then we also do have multi-stage damage hero i have two commanders so far but these are in addition again to the normal team that you do have within combat now the shop just like we've seen before guys you can go in here you can pick up some stuff with your diamonds you can pick it up with gold and there are a couple different aspects that we're going to look up look at in just a minute to kind of show you you can get some heroes in here now, when it comes to some of the heroes, guys, it is a lot easier to get some of the heroes in here, which is the reason why I feel a lot of players are saying it is very free to play friendly because you can get resources to choose which heroes you want to build, which I like very much. Even up here in the outpost, you can see this is daily quest. So this is um, the daily quest that we have over in Infinite Magic Raid. This is also the bounty board that we have in AFK Arena. Um, the higher level you do get in here, the higher bounties or missions or quests you're going to get. Again, a lot of similarities to what we see from AFK Arena. Perimeter, this is where we have kind of all of our breakdown. So the wasteland, we can actually go through here. Um, this is kind of a labyrinth type. So you actually go through here, you choose your path within here. I'm um, going through different floors and making progression through there. Now the soul mine, reminds me of the tower climb you can see here guys we're on floor 11 um we can go through we can challenge this floor this is how the team setup is and you can see the commander i have right down here so i'm actually going to swap my commander in here right there and then the combat overall is pretty cool looking i i love the animation in here i love how the heroes fight you can see i do have it on auto um all of them do have the ultimate abilities you can see the hp bars down here and then the energy bars in the very bottom to continue pushing through here but again this is very similar to what we do kind of with our tower climb you can see my hero moving down to floor 12 and this does have i think 
30 floors is the initial part um, when we're going through here to make a lot of the progression in here. Then when you look at the peaks of time, so like the rift fissure, here is our peaks of time adventure, guys. Again, it is the, the space temple with an infinite magic raid. It is the peaks of time adventures that we see um, within AFK Arena. You can see the cruel oil base right here. Shows us the chest that we get or the rewards that we're going to pull out of here. And similar, it is the crystal chest, the regular golden chest and the crystal chest um, that we pull out of here with progression. And again, the, the Citra, the marsh is the boss fights. So the boss fights have been very cool, guys. You can see you can actually farm these with your stamina points. That means you can go through and you can actually fight these bosses multiple times. I finished out the first level, the second level. I am on to level three right now to go ahead and make some more progression. You can also see we do get some of our heroes in here to build them out. Now, when it comes specifically to the heroes, like I said, it, it seems some of it is kind of old school, um, which is like the old school dragons, like looking at Karmau, um, an AOE based dragon, guys, the 3D rendering in this. And if AFK Arena had heroes like this, it would be just absolutely breathtaking. But as you're leveling them up, guys, you get more skills and abilities. You can also see the talent trees you can level up. So there is specific ways that you can build these heroes up with talent trees as you're developing these. So again, this kind of reminds me of building signature items, furniture, um, engraving, things of that nature. But you can see there are specific ways that you can build these heroes up through the talent tree, um, which is very cool. So even looking here, this is one of my big tanks, the Sawtooth Mammoth guys. Amazing. Guys, the 3D rendering in this, again, it reminds me exactly of Infinite Magic Raid, um, which is far superior of the design that we see with our AFK Arena heroes. But even looking at this artist, guys, look how awesome these animations are in here, guys. It is just crazy. It, it is absolutely crazy on how cool and how well designed these 3D modeling of these heroes are. Oh, 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 OC? Oiza? Um, is my tank guys you can see um, similar to like a Hendrick is just a monster when it comes to these heroes looking in the gallery there are three different factions and then there are kind of like sub factions within here you can see all of the different heroes so there are a lot of heroes in this game guys even up here this is the SS hero so these are the rarest heroes within the game guys which I haven't seen any of them yet. At the end of this video, we're going to do some summons, see what we can do with some of these heroes. This almost looks like the twins, having both of them in combat. Hoping I can get lucky and pull some of these heroes. And of course, guys, they have events that are going on. They have different things, um, claimable logins, you know, different heroes, different pets, 30-day login. They have a lot of events uh, that are going on. They also do have some promotional codes that are going on. I haven't joined a guild yet, but I've been filling up my friends list. And then of course, guys, we have the campaign. So the campaign itself, similar to what we've seen before, you can see we're on 4-15 in the campaign. Here is kind of the auto battle feature you see in the back, but campaign very similar. So you can set five heroes in here. You do have your commander right here in the very back left. Then you can auto battle. You can go ahead and battle it yourself, depending on the formations that you have in here and depending on the heroes you have and where you have them built out, you can ultimately um, win or lose these formations. So far, I haven't lost any. It seems like, again, pretty easy, um, free to play. And of course, these games, guys, as I test them out, um, staying free to play for a considerable amount of time, depending to see if I really catch on with the game, if I like it, if it's something that I'm gonna continue and keep on with. But after this stage, guys, we'll go ahead, we'll do some summons. I hope we can get some new heroes. I hope we can get some some very, very high level heroes would be ideal. Then of course we get some gold, we get some EXP out of there. Now one thing that I liked guys is this ship. You actually see this large ship in the back. When you start this game, this ship is super, super damaged. When you do progression, you actually fix parts of the ship. And I flew to a new zone, which is where we are now guys. You can see we're collecting our AFK loot right there in the back, which is awesome to see. Let's hop over to the base guys and I'm gonna hop in Central hub is where you kind of build and develop. You can see as we continue through here, um, building out more buildings, we need to finish even 4-20 to unlock this part of, which I believe that is the guild part of the central hub. But I wanna hop over to the recruitment center. Again, fingers crossed, you can see guaranteed elite in every 30 recruits. We have five cards here. 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do these five pulls and it shoots like a little, um, kind of like a, a little storage resource crate from the, the stars. Boom. And then you see it come right out. And this is the hero guys that you get. I like how they do the summons in here. And there we go, guys. There's Pelloe. Very cool. I, I've actually, I just used him until a little bit ago. Then you get a token. You actually seen that one. This gives you the exchange tokens. You can see I have two of these data chips right here. Um, I can exchange for specific heroes within here, which is cool. Now, again, I'm getting rewarded for doing the summons. I'm going to save these up. I really hope they carry over because eventually when I get enough to do the summons or get the heroes out of here, we're going to have the ability to essentially summon some more. So let's go ahead and recruit guys. Nebula, Handet, and Clunk. I think that is all we have in here. So there we go. So we got four more of our encrypted data. And then we did get some dismissal coins. Looking here, we don't have any for this faction with, um, I believe this is an Atlas, if I remember correctly. But let's hop over to the basic function or the basic. We have rare or elites out of here. And you can see 10 summons in there, guys. So it's going to kind of skip through our summons. There we go. A new hero. Coit. We, we haven't seen him yet. And being new to the game, guys, I really wanted to check it out again. I, I believe it was Alfred S that said, check this out. It's, again, like a very futuristic AFK arena, which I think is pretty cool. It, it seems overall like a pretty cool game. And a, a mesh, I didn't have him either. And I love how these heroes look, guys. And I have another copy of him. I think you can combine them. I, I think I can get him to like an elite plus status by com putting together multiple copies of the heroes. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use my diamonds in here too. I've just been saving them. I don't know if there's um, anything better to buy them for. But again, right now being early game, I want to see if we can get a lot of heroes in here and pick up some of the more, the, the, the rare heroes in here which it looks like we're just getting a bunch of green ones. Yep, just a bunch of green ones. Got a couple blues in that one. I believe this is our last summon. So we got Fatty. I, I wanna see some of the purples, guys. Or one of the, the really rare heroes we haven't seen yet. We got double copies of him. It looks like not much luck in these summons. There we go, another 10 heroes. Got a lot of resources out of there. Got some eight hour gold, the value pack right there. Advanced summons, we have 19 of these, guaranteed elite every 30 pulls. And then same with this, guys, is you could exchange, look at the heroes in here. So depending on the heroes you need, um, once you get enough cards, you can actually go ahead and just swap for the heroes you, you need, and I love that. And there's Randall, guys. I've never seen Randall either. Very cool looking. And I'm hoping we see another. And some of these, I'm um, kind of just going through. Come on, where's some of the where's some of the rare heroes on here? We only got what nine more, but we got ten of those cards. Let's skip this guy. See if we can get one more. And I'm hoping one more purple out of here. There we go. We got Omar. We already had that copy of Omar, guys. That's my. Um, my tank, he is such a cool, cool looking hero. Um, but again, getting additional copies of him, I believe I can take him up higher um, based on the build. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use all of these. Final one just gives us another soul collector. Then, of course, the friendship. We're going to save. I was going to save these till 10, but there's not really a big reason to. So we pulled one. We got two blues out of there. So not too bad overall with the summons. So looking here at the evolve, now this is the function, guys. We can do the quick evolve, and you'll see we have a lot of blues that are adding up, actually taking these heroes to from just three copies, essentially one copy plus two more, um, gives you this little diamond. You actually see the little diamond in the middle, which means they're going to be up a little bit higher. It takes them to, I believe, like an elite plus status. And then a couple of these, I'm not sure if we can combine like with themselves, I'm going to have to see, guys, what exactly that they cr contains an immortal hero. Do we want to continue? No. I, I want to figure out more of this. I'm going to have to go through and see exactly what we want to do 
with the heroes in here to, to see exactly who we want to build. Because again, heroes like this, I think you can use them for, for a different, like their exclusive item. I, I think there's a different way, like getting unlocked after a hero reaches Mythic Plus. We're going to have to do a lot more research in here, guys. And um, again, pretty cool game. It, it seems pretty cool. It seems like um, very similar to what we're seeing with, you know, the, the AFK arena aspect. Um, it, it's pretty fun so far. I, I do have to say, guys, it is um, pretty fun so far. I'm, I'm actually enjoying the game pretty considerable. Um, I, I like the AFK aspect. So guys, that'll do it for kind of the overview. Again, this is day one, guys. We actually just started this a little bit ago. FHG YouTube, just like we do with all of our games. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.